Desert Hearts remains one of cinema's greatest lesbian love stories My ingress into queer cinema was voracious, which is ironic considering how long I had to wait between watching movies. Or, maybe that makes sense. Maybe the intervals of expectation, after years of denial, made me even hungrier. As soon as I finally admitted to myself that I was a lesbian, I signed up for a service called Netflix that delivered DVDs by mail sending out new ones to you when the ones you'd already watched had been safely returned to their warehouse by the United States Postal Service. And sometimes there'd be a movie that looked kind of gay that I could stuff between two other unsuspicious DVDs when checking out at Blockbuster. And sometimes some brave soul would upload a lesbian film to YouTube, in 12 parts. I saw so many lesbians die in those early days. So many lesbians get persecuted for the desires, especially if they acted on them and didn't just sit in church and clutch their crucifix necklaces and cry. Disowned by their families. Hopes smashed by their secret lovers. Also, they were psychopaths, these homosexual women. I'd spend my whole life being terrified of being gay, and those films I sneaky watched under the covers after I'd sneaky sneak them into my house confirmed that I'd been right to be so scared. There was nothing but heartache, and potentially a break from reality that would lead me down a path of stalking and axe murdering, in my future.